Hello, Mr. Kubernetes. Oh, hi there. I have a new pod version for you to deploy. Oh, um, just leave it right there. I, I need to rebalance this network traffic between these two pods. Wow, it looks like you have your hands full over there. Just trying to do my job. It'd be really nice to get some help with all this network traffic. You know what? I think I have just the thing. It's called Istio. Can you please show it to me? Istio helps you manage and understand the interactions and network communication between microservices in your environment. It is completely open source, can be deployed in and across multiple environments, whether you're working with virtual machines or containers with an orchestrator like Kubernetes, and consists of a number of components that, when deployed in your environment, transparently lay on top of your distributed application to allow you to do things like monitoring and load balancing without any code changes. In this short walkthrough, we'll see how we can use Istio to do very fine-grained traffic routing in a distributed application deployed on Kubernetes. This becomes useful when deploying updates to your application with patterns like Canary or blue-green deployments. I have a cluster running on Google Kubernetes Engine, and I've already configured it to ensure that any pod I deploy into my cluster uses Istio. So I'm going to be able to monitor and control the traffic to and from these pods for free without any code changes. Currently running on this cluster, I have a very simple application that consists of two services. The first service is the UI service. This service is responsible for rendering and serving the user interface upon request from the outside world. I have another service called the color service, which specifies the color of particular UI components. So before the UI service can render and serve the page, it has to consult the color service to know what colors to use. Taking a look at the pods, we should see that I only have one pod serving the UI service and four pods serving the color service. Now, suppose you want to roll out a new version of the color service, but you don't want to go all in, but want to roll it out gradually in control stages. For example, here I have a second version of my color service that I want to deploy. You could use Kubernetes deployments for that. You create another deployment, label it appropriately so that it's included in the same load balance group as the v1 service, and then gradually change the ratio of v2 pods to v1 pods to route the desired amount of traffic to either version. So let's go ahead and deploy that v2 service. And we can verify that it was deployed successfully. And here we can see we have one v2 pod and four v1 pods. Now, when I go to my application, I see my UI is displaying a blue button. The color is coming from my V1 service. But as I refresh the button multiple times, I see a green button occasion, which is coming from my V2 color service. And this happens about roughly 20% of the time. Now, the limitation with this approach is that the only way to control the percentage of traffic that goes to either pod is by directly scaling each version up or down. So if you only want 10% traffic to hit your V2 pod, you have to have nine V1 pods and one V2 pod. Istio allows us to decouple this and shift traffic from one version to another independently of the number of replicas for either service. Istio introduces a resource called a virtual service, which allows me to do that. To deploy a virtual service, I specify how much traffic I want to go to each service, and the virtual service resource will ensure these proportions are honored, irrespective of how many pods of each service are actually present. So taking a look here, I have a virtual service defined that is configured to send 100% of traffic to my v1 pod and none to the v2 uh, service. Now we can deploy this configuration and actually test that this is the case. And when I switch to my application, I can see that no matter how many times I refresh, I always get served the blue button. That's my v1 service. Now, if I go back to my configuration, I can switch this. I can route 90% of my traffic to my v1 service and 10% of the traffic to the v2 service. And if I deploy this again, we should see a predictable result. Roughly 10% of requests will get served a green button, and the rest, the 90%, will get served a blue button. Taking this further, I can switch the weights to 50-50, so 50% 50 of traffic to the v1 service, 50% of traffic to the v2 service. Deploy this change. And if I go back to the application, I should see roughly Every other time, the button is either blue or green. And then finally, I can route 100% of my traffic to the v2 service and 0% of traffic to the v1 service, apply that change. And if I go back to my application, I should always get served the green button. And going back to our deployments, just to verify that the ratios are still the same, we should still see only one v2 pod and four v1 pods. So using Istio, you really get a deep level of control over how your traffic is routed across your microservices. Thank you.
Hey, Mr. Kubernetes, you're looking a little better. Thank you, Jonathan, so much for showing me Istio. I now spend my day making sure my services are up and I don't have to play traffic cop anymore. That's right. Using Istio gives you a lot of control over the traffic with a lot more ease. Exactly. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're working on a cool project and would like to get in contact with us, please click on the link in the description. Thanks for watching.